Hello and welcome to 3D Wonders. Many of our customers face challenges when reverse engineering complex metal parts. This is especially true when converting scan data into parametric CAD models. That's where Quick Surface for SolidWorks comes in. In this video we'll show you how this tool streamlines reverse engineering of complex metal part. Quick Surface for SolidWorks is built for SolidWorks users. It integrates directly into your familiar CAD environment. This means you can continue using the tools you already know, keeping your workflow efficient. No need to switch between programs. The scan data for this part was captured with the Einscan SP 3D scanner by Shining 3D. The Einscan SP V2 offers sub-millimeter resolution and an impressive accuracy of 50 microns per shot, making it an ideal tool for precise scanning. It captures a dense point cloud with 0 0.17, 0 0.2 millimeter point spacing, allowing for the detailed representation of small surface features, ensuring high quality accurate scan data. Let's dive in. First, let's generate a cross section from the front plane and mesh file. Quick Surface for SolidWorks offers specialized tools that simplify this process. They ensure quick and accurate shape extraction. Next, use the fit sketch entities command. It effortlessly converts the cross section into editable lines with just a brush of your cursor. This reduces manual work and ensures precise geometry, boosting workflow efficiency. For smooth connections along the cross section's radius, automatic fillet tools speed up modeling. They reduce manual fillet adjustments. After creating the sketch, extrude it and apply the correct dimensions based on the mesh data. Run a comparison analysis to verify the solid body's accuracy. Quick Surface's comparison feature highlights discrepancies, ensuring your CAD model aligns with the original scan. Next, focus on creating the top wall of the main body. Use the Convert Entities tool to copy the first sketch to a new one and offset it. This is a faster alternative to starting from scratch. Strategic modeling choices reduce unnecessary steps, improving accuracy. For the top wall, follow the same process. Create a cross section, convert it into a sketch, and extrude it into a solid body.
Trim excess material using cutting surfaces. Extrude the cutting surface from the existing sketch and use the offset surface tool for the wall. Use the cut with surface command Combine the parts and add radii to match the mesh data. Finally, run a comparison analysis to ensure everything aligns with the scan. Now let's model the angled cylindrical section. Create a reference plane to streamline this process. The extract primitive command helps convert mesh surfaces into reference planes or solid bodies. Just select the mesh area, and Quick Surface generates the reference plane. Now use the reference plane for sketching and solid modeling. Manual sketching works best for this profile.
use the delete face command to remove unnecessary areas. To trim the cylinder's end, copy the main body surface as a cutting tool. Use the Select Tangency command for faster selection. Extend the surface to overlap the cylinder. Then apply the cut with surface command. Finally, combine the cylinder with the main body. And add a hole to the cylinder. and run a comparison analysis. What we've demonstrated covers just part of the entire modeling process. Other sections follow a similar approach using the same tools and techniques. This highlight focused on key steps to provide a clear overview. With Quick Surface for SolidWorks, complex reverse engineering tasks are more manageable and accurate. Whether you're handling simple shapes or intricate components, the right tools and strategies ensure efficiency. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Quick Surface for SolidWorks or the Einscan SPV 2 3D scanner, feel free to contact us or visit our website at 3dwonders.shop. We're here to support your next project, so don't hesitate to reach out. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips on scanning and reverse engineering. Thanks again and see you in the next video.